Now we're going to test a multi-purpose cotton twine. And this has a load limit of two pounds as opposed to the one pound of the other twine. So not all twines are equal and you know not all the twines I'm testing will be a hundred percent to what you may have. I'm just doing this so you guys can see sort of a rough comparison when building a string. But this is by no means the final word on it or anything. Okay, so I'm going to test this out for you guys. Alright, so here it is. Now we're going to test the breaking strength. So there we go, we got 40 pounds of breaking strength on that. So you would need about, so you'd need roughly four strands just to make a string for a 35 pound bow, or a 30 pound bow, not a 35 pound bow. So your string would still have to be fairly thick. So compared to the mason twine, that's how thick your string would have to be. All right, so now on to the next twine. Now we're going to be twisting, testing, twisting, testing the kite twine. This is twisted polyester. It has a Huh. It actually doesn't have a weight limit on it, so we're just going to try it out. That's a very, very fine thread. Very fine. Very fine. Actually, if you compare it to the Dacron and uh, polyester, so Dacron is actually, you know, polyester and Dacron are one and the same. So they're basically the same material. So yeah, actually, if you compare the kite twine and the Dacron, they're similar in size. Actually, it's hard to see because the Dacron's green but the kite twine actually looks to be just a bit finer. And like I said, it's kind of hard to see because the white twine looks bigger, but that's two strands of the white kite twine. It's about the same size as the Dacron. So we're going to test it out. Now this type of twine is definitely something you would need multiple strands of. So here it is, and we're going to test this out. Okay, so we just got to about 20. So it's about a 20 pound breaking strength. Though we'll say 15 pounds to be on the maybe 15 to 20 pounds to be on the safe side so that means for a 30 pound bow you'd need about eight strands of it. Which, considering how fine these are, let's see, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. So twisted together, this is what eight strands looks like. And that's maybe a little smaller than what I would do for a bowstring. 
So you could definitely get away with using this material for your bowstring, though it is kind of not not really pushing it. You've actually got a good margin of safety. So on to the next twine. Alright, here's the uh, saddle stitching thread. It's made out of nylon. So I'm going to be testing this for you guys. So I've got it all ready. And now we're going to see the breaking strength. Okay, so as you can see, this has about a 75 pound, almost 80 pound breaking strength. So, about three strands is more than enough strength for a, an average bow strength for a 30 pound bow. It's about the same size as the Dacron, so if you built it to Dacron proportions, you'd have more than enough strength. Though it's going to stretch a lot because it's nylon. So now let's move on to the next one. Here we have the Dacron. So now we're going to be testing this. This is B50 Dacron. This has been the standard for traditional strings for a very long time. So we're going to test this out and see what we get. <laughs> All right, this is kind of hard to test because it's actually literally cutting into my tillering tree. Let's try this. <coughs> I have literally, okay, you guys got to see this. I don't know if you can see this very well. See how the strand stops? That's because it literally cut down into my tillering tree. So, the single strand actually has more than 100 pounds of breaking strength. Alright, so here's the some B50 Dacron. I'm going to be testing the breaking strength for you guys. Whew. Okay, so there you saw it had about a 70 pound breaking strength. And I hit the camera. Alright, so that's what you can expect from Dacron. I'm going to test it one more time just to be doubly sure of this. And if this is really right, then I can think I can make a little conclusion. So here we go. Zero. Zero. These cuts in my tillery tree are throwing me off. Okay, let's try this one more time. So. Okay, so about 70 to 75 pounds of breaking strength for the B50 deck rock. Alright, so... Now that I've done that, 
I want to show you guys something. So as you can see, this blue string, this blue strand, is B50 Decron. And this green, whatever it is, is not Decron. Actually, I, I purchased the blue strand, the blue string, and my other Dacron from Three Rivers Archery. So I know it's actually B50. The green string, or the green string material, I bought it from my local Archery Pro Shop, and they said it was Dacron. But it has such a high breaking strength and it's non-stretchy enough to have actually sliced through my tillering tree. So I'm going to assume that it's probably fast flight or something similar. But there you go. The Dacron's about 70 pounds of breaking strength. So just to keep that in mind. So actually to build a string comparable to Dacron you would need something with a similarly high breaking strength. All right, so now that we've done all of the twines that I brought out, we've, I'm going to test a couple extra since I have this little mishap with the fast flight or whatever that was. I'm gonna be testing some hemp and some Dacron fishing line for you guys. So, here we go. So first up, we've got... Oops. <laughs> okay, so first up, we've got our Dacron fishing line. And it says 50 pound test fishing line. So we're going to test out the breaking strength here. I'm okay. <laughs> All right, so you can see that was about mm, 75 to 80 pounds of breaking strength. So that actually makes it comparable to our Dacron. So if you were going to be looking for a commercial twine or string as a substitute to uh, B50 Dacron. This is actually some of the best stuff I've found for strings. And if you know where to look, you can get it pretty cheap. The one I have is kind of this cool white and green, but I've seen white and black. I've seen all black. I've seen all green. I've seen all blue. So it comes in a variety of colors if you can find it. So. Now that we've done that, we're going to test one more, and that's the hemp. Okay, so here's our hemp, and this is just a general purpose beading twine. It's, it says it's 20 pound cord. So this is a fairly good quality hemp, some of the best commercial hemp I've seen so far. There are finer grades, but this stuff is pretty good. I've seen some pretty bad hemp. Like, uh, the hemp from Walmart, I don't usually have that good of a... It usually doesn't last quite that long. So I'm just going to test the breaking strength on this for you guys. So here we go. At zero. There we go. So it has about a 30 pound breaking strength. So two strands of this would only get you about 60 pounds of breaking strength. And 
So it would take, let's see. It would take about five strands to give you a decent bow string for a 30 pound bow. So, as you can see, here's four strands, and already it's getting on the verge of being almost too thick for a string. Alright, so. Thanks for watching. So as you can could see, the Dagron fishing line, which you can pick up in most fishing stores. Actually, this particular spool I picked up at a sports authority. And the B50 Dagron are about equal. Now before I tested this, I thought this was Dacron, but now that I've tested it, I think it's something more like Fast Flight. So I've actually got some Fast Flight, and I guess now I've got another color of Fast Flight. So expect some more string videos. This is just kind of the beginning, so you guys can see what will make a string and what materials may not be that well suited for making a string. So. I'm going to be doing some more videos for you guys showing not only how to make different types of string like continuous loop or uh, Flemish or just uh, multiple strand looped strings and just different types and I'm going to show you how to make a string using different common materials like how to make a good jute string or how to make a good Cecil string as well as different ways to make a good fishing line string. So just keep stay tuned for that, and I'll get those up as soon as I can. Yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.